Hallelujah. How's everybody today? Blessed and highly flavored. Praise God. Oh, yes. Nothing greater than worshiping the Lord. Amen? Amen. You know, what happens is you change the atmosphere. Amen. See, we need to be atmosphere changers. <laughs> you know, the, the, uh, the, the government has an environmental agency. Well, we got any atmosphere agency. <laughs> See, if you can change the atmosphere, you can change the environment. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> They don't get it yet, though. You know, they're still trying to do it in the flesh. And if they would just send out worship teams over the ocean and stuff, things would be better. <laughs> Hallelujah. Would you turn to Psalm 42, please? Psalm 42. And if you need a Bible, we have Bibles if you're here without one. But the next time you come, bring one. <laughs> Or you can keep the one we gave you today. <laughs> Psalm 42. Is everybody there? Hallelujah. Anybody else need a Bible? Don't be shy. <laughs> Psalm 42. Let's read it together, please. Is everybody there? As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Hello, does everybody know you're going to appear before God someday? Nobody escapes it, right? Everybody comes before daddy, and hopefully he's your daddy. Verse 3, my tears have been my food day and night. While they continue to say to me, where is your God? Now, this is powerful because in this psalm, he is crying out to God. He's saying, Lord, you know, I want to know you. I need you. I'm looking for you. In fact, I'm waiting for you. And I know that you can do whatever you want to do. I know you can heal me. I know you can deliver me. I know you can provide everything of all of my needs. I know that you are he who does far above all I could ever ask or think. But the problem I'm having right now is that the voice of the enemies are impressing me all around. And they continue to say to me, where is your God? Now, everybody here has gone through it. And you're going to go through it. Where is your God? God. Does everybody got it? Yeah. Let's go a little further. In verse 4, he says, When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with a voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept a pilgrim feast. So he remembers. Must be desperate today for ice cream sales. <laughs> Either that or they're on an emergency run. <laughs> Hopefully they're not going to my house. Nobody's there. So in this he's saying, I remember when I used to go together to the house of God. I used to fellowship. I, I, I used to have joy and, 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 and praise you. I used to look forward to this. And, and, and because I used to celebrate that feast with my brothers and sisters, I remember this. And he says, uh, verse 5, why are you cast down almost? Why am I miserable? See, your soul is your mind, your will, and emotions. Why am I miserable? Why are you disquieted within me? And he, he's having a fight within him big time. He's saying, hope in God, for I shall yet praise him. For the help of his continence, he's saying, man, I don't care. I can't, you know, I'm trying. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, but it just, I can't fight this. Where is my God? 
But I know that you're there. Even though I fight within me, where are you? Because the impression of the voice of the stranger that impresses me constantly. Where is your God, says the voice of the enemy. But I say, I will praise him. Though he slay me, I will still praise him. I will praise him because he's faithful to complete what he started. It may not seem like it's manifesting today. It may not seem like it's even in reach. But it's coming. I know it's coming, even though I feel miserable. But thank God I don't live by how I feel. I don't thank God by, I don't live by what I think. I thank God that I believe his word. I believe he's real and he's faithful, even when I'm faithless. Amen. Hallelujah. Boy, we all need this message, don't we? <laughs> Verse 6. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan and from the heights of Hermon and the hill of Mazar. Deep calls on to deep at the noise of your waterfalls. All your waves and billows have gone over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime. And in a night, his song shall be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Oh, man, why are you disquieted? Listen here, soul. Listen, remember, your soul is your mind, your will, and emotions. Listen here, soul, he says. Listen, you mind. Listen, you emotional idiot. Listen, you will of the flesh. I'm not going to allow you to overtake the truth. I'm not going to allow you to steal what I know. My creator who created me in his image and likeness, and I am his child, that he will never forsake me nor leave me. I'm not going to let what you say or what you feel move me. I'm not going to allow this to happen. I'm going to make the choice, and I'm going to remember the goodness of the Lord. I'm going to remember the wonderful things he's done for me already. I'm going to remember that when I called, he did answer. I'm going to remember when I prayed, he did answer. I'm going to remember when I was in distress, he made a way of escape for me. I'm going to remember these things and not look at the things that are not yet. Are you listening? I'm going to look at the things that have come to pass and know that what hasn't come will come. Amen? Verse 9. What does he say? I will say to God my rock. Now, it said he didn't think it. He what? Spoke it. I'm going to say to God my rock. What's he going to say? Why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the what? enemy as with a breaking of my bones my enemies reproach me while they say to me all day long where is your God why has he forsaken you why has he forgotten you you're all alone your God has rejected you. And verse 11. Why are you cast down on my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? But I'm going to turn this around right now. Because I'm going to hope in God. For I shall yet praise him no matter what's going on. The help of my countenance and my God. Because it is written, it is spoken, and so shall it be. Amen. It is written, it is spoken, and so shall it be. Let me tell you, the enemy challenges your faith. <laughs> He's going to challenge your faith with these words. Where is your God? Causing a reaction of the flesh. He's trying to get you to react and not respond. If he can get you to react and he causes you to sow in the flesh. He's trying to get you to react to the flesh of discouragement. 
despair, rejection, abandonment. He's trying to convince you that God has forsaken you, forgotten you. He tries to bring oppression on you. Amen? Oh. <laughs> and one of the things he tries to do is prevent you from praying, praising, and proclaiming. Amen. He's trying to keep or get you into a place where your heart becomes hardened. Because when your heart becomes hardened, then you won't praise. You won't pray. And you will not proclaim. Has everybody got it? He knows this. He knows that your only way of escape is through the presence of God. Because he fears God's presence. In Hebrews 3. Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 3. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Glory. Hebrews 3. Verse 7. It's amazing we can... You know, we've quoted scriptures before. He who is in me is greater than he is in the world. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm more than a conqueror. Then in the afternoon comes, we hear, where is your God? <laughs> I was like, oh, man, here we go again. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Believe me, I, I'm, we all go through it. You know, one of the things that happens is because God isn't moving in your time. Hello. The enemy knows you're you're all oh, you're fighting within you, and you're telling everybody you're blessed, and that's the right thing to do. Because you are blessed no matter what. Amen. You are blessed, and the Bible says, "Bless the Lord, all your soul, and all that's within you. Bless His holy name, and don't forget, don't forget, and don't forget, and don't forget." And that's what David was doing. He says, "I remember. I'm not going to forget it. Don't forget His benefits." He forgives your iniquities. Amen. He heals your diseases. He rescues you from a life of destruction. He puts a new song in your mouth. See, these are areas that we cannot forget. We must hold on no matter what. So our heart doesn't become hardened. In verse 7, Hebrews 3. Would you read it with me there? Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, today, if you will hear his voice, let me share something with you. When the heart becomes hardened, you will turn the voice of God off. And you will not see what he's trying to show you. And verse 8, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion in the day of trial in the wilderness where your fathers tested me tried me and saw my works 40 years therefore I was angry with that generation and said they always go astray in their heart and they have not known my ways in other words the enemies are trying to always get you to go astray because he steals the promises of God from you he steals these things. He steals. In other words, he tries to remove, the, he erases that memory of the things that God has done for you. Man, there's so many things that God has done for me. No matter what I go through, I can't forget those things. I go back to those things and say, Lord, I remember. I remember. And then I become grateful when I remember. I am grateful that I still have clothes. I'm grateful for hot water and a shower and soap. I'm grateful for everything that he's done and he's doing. I cannot go on the things that I don't have yet. Amen? I must go on the things that I do have and use, utilize what God has given me. And as I'm faithful to use what God's given me, I know he'll replenish it. It may not be according to my time or according to my will. It's according to his will. 
And sometimes he likes to stretch you. 